Okay, I'm making the third video on the leak for the Testo 557S. And you're probably wondering why are we looking at a ultrasonic leak detector standing outside of a door. I'm going to show you how sensitive this ultrasonic leak detector is. Uh, you've seen a little bit of it in my last video with the true refrigerator. Now, right here, that was the sound of my sock just rubbing my pant leg and this picks it up from four feet away. It could hear if you have rough skin and you just run your rough skin next to your iPhone on a smooth surface. So let's open in the store. We're going into my <laughs> my work lab, my laboratory. Okay. So let's see what we got hooked up here. You see the leak detector? You see it go down? This thing is screaming in my ear. That was uh, kind of painful. I got to hold on. I got to turn down the volume. This is uh, a little too high. So right now I'm going to turn down the volume because I got a uh, way high and it's blasting my eardrums out. Okay, it's, it's actually, it's clipping. If you ever heard speakers or amplifier clip, that's what's going on right now when I get around there. So that's a brand new seal, a brand new hose, and that thing is blasting right now. When I take this off, I cannot hear or feel anything with my fingers or my ears. Even if I put my eardrum right up right here, I feel or hear nothing. Uh, I put my eye up there. You know how your eye is very sensitive to air blowing and you can feel something around your eyes or, or the bottom lip of your nose or the upper lip, right below your nose and your lip. That's very sensitive skin. And you can actually feel a slight breeze of nitrogen coming through a tube that you can't feel with your hands. So I'm going to kill this. There's no, no need uh, in using this because it's just clipping up there. There's so much of a leak. So... There's nothing that I can feel or hear. So now this is going to get into the Terry. I didn't bring in my bubble soap. I didn't bring in um, the big blue. So there's going to be another uh, video made on this uh, because I'm not doing this in one take and I got to walk all the way out my vehicle and get the big blue. We're going to come back and we're going to find this leak on this brand new hose with brand new fittings. And it, is, it appears, my guessing is when I put some big, big blue on here, it's going to be leaking out of the seal right at the threads, maybe at the very back of the fitting right here. But the gasket that looks good to the eye, apparently, oh yeah, and we're tight, apparently is leaking right there. And we're going to find out what the real truth behind the failure was yesterday on failing the nitrogen pressure decay test. And actually right now it's, it's leaking really fast. It was not leaking like this yesterday like this. This big of a leak is a new development, and as you can see, it's it's bleeding down into tenths of a single PSI. And I think, putting my ear up here right now, I barely hear something. So there is something there. We got to pinpoint it. So let's get down to uh, the reason. <laughs> 